explanation for the 6.1 assignment, uh, the Wealth and Poverty Reflections and Connections. Okay, so for the past three weeks, you've read a variety of texts that connect to the theme of our unit. Now is time, it is time to reflect on and connect to the content you have studied. So keep in mind, there are two parts to this assignment. Um, the first part you're gonna reflect, and then the second, the second part you're gonna connect. Hence the name Reflections and Connections. Okay, this needs to be full paragraph responses that have topic sentences, adequate supporting details from the text we've read, and MLA, MLA cita in text citations. So those are required as well. Um, this is a written response, it's not a formal essay, so you don't need an introduction or concluding paragraph. All right, so let's look at this first part here. Um, part one, reflections, you need to write a, uh, a 250 to 300 word response, two to three complete paragraphs, okay? And you need to answer this question. Choose any text from this unit and examine how it reflects the time period in which it was written. So it could be the Enlightenment, the Romantic period, the Victorian age, modern or postmodern. Um, discuss key points about the relevant time period and then provide specific examples and evidence from the text to clearly show how it connected to the era. Remember to use quotes and evidence from your selected text to support your claims. Do not summarize your text, pull out specific small details to claim about how it fits in the time period. Again, do not summarize your text. I've read it, you've read it. We know what it's about. How Now tell me how it connects, okay? You should have, um, you should have notes from the second week of the semester, but just in case you don't, you can go to week two, History of England, and that is gonna take you to all those resources from the Enlightenment period, the Romantic period, the Victorian age, and the modern, modernism and postmodernism. And all those videos and all of the information is right there if you need to go back and connect to, um, to, to, connect to the time periods, okay? Um, you, if you have any questions about that, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to help you. Okay, so let's go back to the assignment. Part two, you're gonna connect to the text. So you're gonna to have to address both of these ideas in your response. You need to answer the question, how does wealth and poverty either change or remain constant from the 1700s up to today? Are societal values, conditions, or behaviors changing at all or just continuing on with little improvement? Explain, give details and examples to support. Now, you will have to use um, for this portion of the assignment, you're going to need to cite from evidence from at least two different resources given in the course content, okay? When you go into the course content, you're going to see um, article, uh, this module here within week six called Article Resources, and you'll have to pick from, you don't have to read all of these, but you do need to pick two of these resources and cite them within this response, okay? And then, um, the, so you'll have to use those to support your ideas. And then you'll also have to answer the idea, ah, my computer went a little crazy there. How and why does literature help to inspire societal change? Use a specific literary text from this unit to support your ideas. So you may not use the same text you used in part one of this assignment. So you'll need to use a second text to support your ideas for this response, okay? And again, you'll need those in-text citations, um, that, those MLA in-text citations. Now, if you're wondering how do I get started, what do, how do I do in-text citations, if you look in this, this week, you're going to see there's a writing toolbox, which has um, easybib.com, in-text citations guy from the out of Purdue, how to embed quotes like a boss, and writing body paragraphs. So if you need help developing those paragraphs, there's these resources right here that will help you, okay? Um, and then you'll respond in this box below. If you have any questions about this assignment, don't hesitate to reach out and have an awesome day. Thank you.